Hi everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the Cinemat Challenge Test and how that affects the diagnosis for Parkinson's. So as far as my understanding, what happens is if your neurologist pretty much thinks that you have Parkinson's, there is no official test that can, as far as a medical test, <clears throat> that can tell them that. They're going to go through a series of, of just regular testing to rule out other diseases and then there's a neurology test where they kind of like like this is something that they do to check how slow you are and like um, if you're slower at one side of the body to the other and then they do like things that make you touch your nose, stamp your feet um, so you can probably google neurological uh, movement disorder exam and you might come across a few YouTube videos that show you um, that test being done. But what I found is that if they think you have Parkinson's then they're going to give you the, the Cinemet or or rather I, I called it Cinemet but it's actually not called that. It's called a Levodopa challenge test. Cinemet is like a U.S. brand name <clears throat> for the Levodopa Carbidopa. So they're actually going to give you a Parkinson's meds to see if you have any relief from Parkinson's symptoms. So if they do give you that, most likely they think you do have Parkinson's. Um, it's not a definite that you do have it if the test comes back um, positive. Um, and I'm saying that it's not really a test that comes back positive, so kind of scrap that from your mind. Um, it's more that you take the pills, and if it works for you, then pretty much they're sure you have Parkinson's. If it doesn't work for you, then it's still unclear. Most likely you don't have Parkinson's, but for some people, the medicine just doesn't work. With me, I was kind of surprised the medicine worked right away and I think I said in another video I was kind of scared before I took the test because I kind of thought it would be kind of vague and they wouldn't know one way or the other if I had Parkinson's so that was kind of scary but I didn't expect it to work right away and for some people it doesn't work right away so I don't want you to get the impression that if you do take the test you know that immediately you're gonna know it might take a couple weeks or it might take a month but for me it happened on the same day and I was not expecting that and the first thing that happened that I could actually feel were the muscles in my face kind of like unfroze and I wasn't really aware that I wasn't making any expressions but as soon as the medicine started working I really was um, aware of it the next thing, thing I noticed is that I could walk normally and when I say normally um, I was having a lot of the motion problems that I explained in the previous video so I'll try to link them together. Um, also I didn't mention in the previous video that overall with my motion I really felt like like there were like heavy weights strapped onto my body or I was walking through like quicksand or, or mud all the time like there was like so much effort to like move my body it, it just was crazy um, and that has to do with the slowness that we experience with Parkinson's so those are the two main things and then I just in general start to feel better so what I thought, because this is what I had read, a lot of people with young or early onset Parkinson's, when you take that test, they generally don't keep you on the Cinemat or the Levodopa or Carbidopa because that is like the best medicine that we have at this point to treat. Well, again, I'm careful with my words. Treat really isn't the right word because the medicine doesn't like it doesn't really treat it. Um, <clears throat> it's more accurate to say it kind of masks our symptoms 
So like the Parkinson's goes away, but it's still there. It doesn't take the Parkinson's away. It just kind of alleviates the symptoms. Um, and that, I'm specifically talking about the cinemat or the copper dober, lever dober. Um, so back to what I was saying. I had read that they sort of like give you that test when you're younger, but take it away because they want to give you, they want to save that medicine, that, which is like I said, the most effective for later on because you have so many years that you have to deal with your Parkinson's. So I kind of expected that they would take that away and give me some of these other <clears throat> agonist or other kind of meds used for Parkinson's. Um, so I was surprised when he said I, that he would just continue that medication. Well, kind of like, he didn't say why, but now I kind of understand <clears throat> it was that I was already at like a bad or advanced <clears throat> stage of my Parkinson's because I had probably had it so long, like up to 20 years before diagnosis. So I had been living with it and I had had like you know, problems, but I didn't consider them major problems, but now I know what those health problems were um, as far as having Parkinson's. So anyway, I stayed at the, all I'm saying is that I stayed on the Levodopa, Carbidopa, or Cinemat, where a lot of young or early onset um, people would go on another medicine first. So that's what the challenge test um, generally is. Um, it's good to know all these things if, you're, if you think you have Parkinson's or <clears throat> if you're being tested for having Parkinson's. If you have any questions, leave that in the comment box. Um, if you have some experience with this um, challenge test, then let us know also in the comment box. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.